started with this tweet that I keep seeing, man, and it says 10K a month doing absolutely nothing or 100K a month working 12 hours a day, uh, Monday through Friday. And uh, I'm, a, I'm gonna take the, I already work and I have made the 10K a month. So like, that's not a big thing to me. I would, I'm definitely working and making that 100K and set my family up in three to four years. Three years, that's 3.6 million dollars man but you know 10k that you you just living you're living way above the average person that's like two two and a two and one point that's, that's probably two point one times what the average household makes because the average household make in the u.s makes about fifty thousand or something like that and that's with both people working and bringing in money so the average household makes doesn't make a whole lot. So you already you already making double what the average household makes and then some, man. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but if you're going to take the 10K, the only way to take the 10K to me is to take the 10K and relax. I'm not going to be like I'm going to take the 10K and work a job because at that point, you hustling backwards. You probably going to be working a job. You'll be working a job that you enjoy. But, I mean, it's like, why, why, why would you do that? Because you're not going to... The whole point is... I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. I just feel like you'll be set up for set up. You inconvenient. I think that the whole moral of that story is: Do you just want to not do anything and chill, or do you, or would you make a temporary sacrifice to set your family up for for life? And I'm taking the sacrifice to set my family up for life, man. Uh, but you know, one way that you can also get some. But it, it is what it is, man. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Which way would you go with it? I'll, even if I did take the 10k, I'm relaxing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna work anymore I'm, i'll figure out a way or i'm gonna start my own business or something like that man but i'm not gonna take the 10k and take somebody's nine to five that's just asinine anyway before we get started man make sure y'all like the video and comment comment what you would do down below man that's gonna do two things for y'all or just 10k uh that's gonna do two things for y'all every single friday we give away 50 dollars in vc cash out or we give away a copy of a video game we're gonna do that today man we're gonna pick a winner and give it away today i've been super busy this week they got me running around i even got to go out today so i'm sorry about that that we haven't gotten to it but we're gonna do that today number two if we can average 8k views we're gonna be giving away a next gen console whether it be an xbox a playstation or uh 500 bucks or we're gonna be giving away a laptop or something like that y'all let me know which one you're gonna want if you win to get involved in that you just gotta like the video and comment something down below if you don't know what to do just put 10k or 100k uh last but not least um the bots are down there man and uh yeah if if you if you don't, if you think I'm on Telegram, you think I'll put my phone number down there, then hey, they got you. But I'm not doing that. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. That's all I got. And with all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Like I said, bro, uh, I, I feel you, I feel you either way. You can't go wrong in that. But I just feel like a lot of us are already working 12 hours a day anyway. I think a lot of young people are gonna say they're gonna take the take the money, uh, the 10K for life. But you know, if you if you do the math then you already have outpaced that if you're taking the 100k one time I, that's 10 months more than what the next person is gonna have and this is for a small inconvenience but i get what you're saying i think that i just think that a lot of us are already working we already sacrificing more than 12 hours a day i know my mom and dad did and and they wasn't making you know near that much and it's like it, it, it just to me it's a no-brainer a little bit of work and then I'm sending these guys up that I look, man, that, that, it's a no brainer to me, man. But if you go the other way, I feel you on that too. Especially if you're saying I'm just gonna relax and I can make that work and uh, I can make it do what it do. Anyway, that boy, speaking of money, man, that boy called a man says 2K should be free if VC prices are this insane. It, it scares new players away. Also imagine being 12 years old and asking your mom for $100 to max out a player it is ridiculous and uh swante says yep it hurts all of us because kids won't play i never run into kids and i'm always in the game chat and playing with randoms now i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you you don't run into kids i believe because you don't play current gen i think kids most of the kids are on current gen i don't really think that there's there's a whole lot of kids on next gen just because the price is very prohibitive it, it just is what it is the price the price is prohibitive and um, you know, and it's not the price of the game though, it's the price of the console. Kids always been on 2K and the price has always been kind of prohibitive or what have you. But I, I really think the kids thing is just that, that we don't have, um, I really think the kids thing is just that we just don't, it, it's, it's the, the console gen uh, split or whatever. And I think my boy Laker fan said something about that later on, but I, I really, I really feel like that is what the issue is 
uh, why you don't run into kids. But at the same time, the prices are ridiculous. The prices are not ridiculous. The price has been the same prices for the last years. It's just the prices in the game are ridiculous. The prices of VC are not. But I definitely could see a model where 2K would be a, a free to play game and then but then at that time you gotta go you gotta change the whole dynamic because it gotta become a game as a service and then it changes a lot of stuff man so uh if they did it it would be great because you know they're gonna make them more the money right back and they're gonna get um they're gonna make the money right back people are gonna make more bills because the game was free like my homeboy they get the game he like i said my homeboy friends with jamario moon we know jamario moon played in the league they don't buy the game they don't they don't buy 2k they play the old 2k until it becomes free and then they make no money spent bills and i'll be out there they be in this park selling my shit, and i'm out there trying to you know what i'm saying like it's crazy bro how to, the, how how some people actually you know move with 2k but i definitely understand that argument if it was free it would in, invite a bigger audience those guys would play a little bit earlier and all of that stuff but like you said yeah we don't even get the game until it's free because the amount of money that you got to spend in it so I can see a situation where that would happen. Uh, but the guy Stacks, uh, Stacks comes back and he says something a little bit different. He says, this game, this last time I'll speak on this because it's annoying. Uh, but demanding the AAA sports title to be free is something, uh, is some, oh, some of the most silly stuff I've ever heard. I, un I understand the VC prices are insane and should be lowered, but whoever said you uh you were forced to buy a hundred dollars worth of vc hey and two things can be true you're not forced to buy it but if you would like to compete immediately you you do have to buy it now me i'm gonna tell y'all how i rule how i move with 2k i don't buy um when i did when i was not a content creator i never bought vc I never bought VC. I would always just grind a player up from zero because I, it was no rush for me to get to the park. But some people, you know, they just want to get on the game and play and they're cool with buying the VC and it's convenient. That's why I stopped taking up this fight that, that everybody getting in the middle of it because I, like I said, we didn't led the fight. We didn't, we didn't did this stuff. And uh, people have just proven time and time again that they will pay for convenience. Who am I to deny you the right to pay for convenience? For a lot of people, it's not about the money. They got the money. They spending 10K a month on my team and stuff like that some people are doing that stuff for them it's not about the money it's about the convenience they want to be able to get on and compete immediately who am i to deny you that right if they want to be able to do that so i just backed out of that whole thing but you know what i think the game being free it could be a good compromise do i think they're gonna do it <sighs> no to the no 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 to the no no to the no 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 to the no, no, to the no, no, yeah. to the no. <laughs> you know they ain't doing that stuff, man. So you know it is what it is. Hopefully, you know they can, we can find a good compromise. But the thing is, we can't talk to Mike and them guys about it. They can only pass that stuff on. That's the marketing department, and that's the uh, they don't set the prices. All they do is just make the game kind of like. And, and people think that, like, you, you would think that that's crazy, but you got to think about your own job. I got to go fix a network today. Those people are probably going to get a hefty bill for, for $500 an hour or whatever my company is going to charge them, two two fifty two fifty. dollars Bridget, what we charge an hour? Something like two fifteen an hour? Some. It depends on what it is. They probably gonna get a, I, with a two hour minimum, they probably gonna get a $500 bill. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there for 15 minutes max. And you know they and so they would probably ask me, dang, these prices kind of high. I don't set the prices, baby. All I do is fix stuff. You see what I'm saying? So when you when you equate that to your own job, you would think that Mike and them have more power, but they they really don't. So like, just think about it in terms of your own job too. Like, I, I, just, I just make the game, baby. I don't set the prices, but you know, maybe I could have some influence. But who am I to go to my boss and say, hey man, these people don't want to pay this bill. Uh, I'm not doing that for every customer. I'm just, I'm not even gonna cap you down. I got my cap and gown. I'm not gonna cap you down. I'm not doing that, and you're not gonna do that either to to, to your boss. You like, I'm, if you, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, up next, we got the boy Poe Boy saying, man, hey, they, they, this is what they said, man. He was dancing with them Perkins. I'm not gonna play the video because the level of sensitivity is at an all time high. Because just what he said, ain't no way Tyson'o put this on his YouTube video. I haven't even watch the video people sending me this yeah y'all got it bruh no respect when he knew the controversy around this clip and still decided to add it in 
I don't want no sympathy or nothing. Just see how views really weigh. Now at first, I thought saying was wrong. I did think he was wrong. I'm taking it back, saying I'm taking it back. I thought you was wrong because I was like, you the one that posted it. So you know it's gonna be out there. But rereading what you just said, I, I might be, I, might think, I gotta be neutral because I'm the news, but I might be on your side, brother. Because he said, he didn't say, it was. He, he didn't care about the clip. The clip wasn't the issue. It was the controversy surrounding the clip that he got, that he, you, like, like, you already know that this is a controversial clip. You know what it calls between me and IQ. You know this, this, or that, and the third. And it's like, bro, it ain't no way you posted this knowing what that is. But, so, I'm with you on that, saying, knowing the controversy around surrounding the clip, he probably should have left that. So I ain't gonna lie to you. He definitely should have left it out. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I'm with you on this one, bro. He know the controversy of surrounding it. But, at the same time, what if he don't know the controversy surrounding the clip, though? He he might not. He like like let's just take for a second and say he he really may not know the controversy surrounding the clip. So, um, you know, cause cause Tyceno he ain't like us. He don't really he don't he's not in deep into the community. He come he play the game. He probably get off. So he probably doesn't know. And his and that's just in his favor. If he doesn't if he knew all the stuff that surrounded the clip, then Tyceno did ass wrong for that. He's dead wrong. But. If he doesn't know, then, I mean, it just is what it is. That's what he always do. He add clips of the other streamer in his stream, and, and that's cool. I probably would have, I think I think he could have chosen something better. But, like I said, if he don't know the controversy surrounding it, then it's not on him. But if he does, but I'm sure his editor does. So, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Okay, so he says, so why'd you pick up the pills and dance with them after winning a game if you don't want it to be clipped or in the video? There's a clip where you literally hold the pill, the pills in front of the camera on purpose and pop two pills. I didn't put that in. No, nobody forced you to do that at all. But also, Tacino, nobody forced you to put that in the video. Two things can be true and two people can be wrong at the same time. It's not a, it's not who's wronger. If he knew, look, if you knew the controversy surrounding the clip, you shouldn't have put the clip in. But at the same time, it was free game because you did put it on the internet. So it's one of them things like a catch 22. Tacino's right too, because it's like, like, you know, you did it, so I, I clipped it. That's, that is what it is. So, hey, but if you knew the controversy surrounding it, I wouldn't have done it, man. I, I think I think that's one of them where it's just like, let's see what the community say, man. He says, LOL, I forgot to take my medicine. I didn't, I did, uh, it's not even perks. It's, I'm not even gonna try to say that. And on top of that, the only reason you used the clip because I was happy about winning a game, which anybody would do in a close game and you could have simply reminded me to send you uh send you vod like i asked like you asked me to post you know in the past in the past but you still decided to use a clip of somebody mocking my health which with your man's iq uh double back and then deleted it uh deleted it and lies well but you still decided to use a clip uh for vod to hype up the hype up you winning i'm confused mine that blah 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 whatever it's that i never i never once in our way just use any of your pov but okay like i said man i can understand both points of view um it is what it is ej chimes in and he says but y'all steady want to feel sorry for somebody that didn't take responsibility for his actions that night and this is the reason i don't respond to nobody on the internet I continue to stay in my lane and keep building. I, I do the same thing, but like I said, though, if he knew the controversy surrounding it, I, I, I wouldn't have done it, but I can't tell him not to do it, man. But I think both of y'all, you know, you can't get right out of what he did, but at the same time, you know that he's gonna do it so it's like you got to conduct yourself accordingly. Hey, then some people say they're saying cook him. Uh, you could have communicated with Sin before posting it. Definitely rude of you. I do agree with that. Um, he said once you do something on. But see, this is what I'm saying. Two things can be true. You should have communicated with Sin before posting. Definitely rude of you. That is true. But at the same time, once you do something on the internet, it's there forever. That's true too. Both both people got to move a little bit differently. That's all we got to say, man. Sin mad for something he did. Hey, that's true. And said, nah, Tysino, you wrong for that, bro. And that's true too. Like, it's crazy because you can be right down the middle. He said, dude can post clips of people's reactions when they beat him. Uh, I mean, he, he posts people, posts 
clips of people reacting when he beat them all the time, heighten the drama and give the viewer better all around experience. That is a fact. And he said on shorty, the situation got me died. What the, and that's true too. It is what it is, man. All that stuff is true, bro. Like it is, it's, it's no side to really be on. I think both of these guys should just get together and squash that beef and then play again. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, they're using this to hype up game number three. Sin beat him the first time. Tassino beat him this time. And this game number three coming up. Maybe they're doing that. I hope this is what's happening because these are two goats in the community. Y'all should not be at each other's throats, baby. Let's get this game popping and keep the community popping, man. So I got stuff to post. But um, I, I, I mean, like I said, I, I, think, I think that Tassino... Knowing the controversy surrounding that, he shouldn't have posted it, but I don't think it's that serious. Seeing, you, you ain't got, don't, don't worry about that, man. Hey, ignore that noise, keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep, keep getting toward better health. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just, just do, do, keep doing your thing, man. But uh, Tassino, you know, keep doing your thing too. But I, 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 I tend to be on Sin's side just a little bit, rereading what he said, you know, knowing the controversy surrounding it. Last but not least, that boy EJ said, I lost $650 side betting, 2K wages, but the good thing is everybody in my house will have everything they wrote down for Christmas, and that's all that matters to me. And he posted that Christmas tree, and I said the same thing. You're right, everybody in my house getting what they getting too, but I ain't down $650. <laughs> I still ain't down 650 baby. So it is what it is. Uh, hey, look, man. Uh, again, if he down 650, it's what he could afford to lose. I'm sure EJ is a very intelligent person. Um, he, he know you only bet what you can afford to lose. He's just doing it for entertainment. He probably didn't even lose $650. He just knows that this is something that he can continue to hype up and just continue to ride with and roll off, man. Because it's funny, it's a funny narrative. So, you know, keep doing your thing, big dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I want everybody in the 2K community to get their money and get it any way you can as long as you're not hurting anybody. Why? because you could be out in them streets doing a whole lot worse. And I want to see all of our people that are grinding come up and make it, man. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Make sure y'all comment 10K or 100K for your chance to win that $50 on that next gen console. And I'm gonna y'all next time to the next time, man. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Y'all two goats, I rock with both of y'all heavily. Y'all, you settle that joint on the court, man. Let's, let's, let's not, let's not, you know, don't let it get the ugly, man. Y'all can talk about that. Y'all, y'all real. Y'all some real guys. Y'all can talk about that, man. And we out. Peace. Guys, please. Guys, please.